Hi, I'm Phyllis Brown. I'm with the Smocking Arts Guild of America, and today I wanted to show you how to stitch a bullion rose. There's a couple of tips I want to show you. I'm going to come up at point A again, and I'm going to come down and back down at my point B. I'm going to wrap again. One, two. See how that looks. Let's do one more. I'm going to try nine this time. Okay, I'm pinching my wraps. Whoops, this doesn't want to pull through. That's a common thing that happens when you reach a point. If you have trouble with your needle pulling through, sometimes you're using the wrong size needle so you can't pull, you're getting or the wrong type of needle. You'll tug and that eye gives you resistance. Um, the other thing is you could be wrapping your wraps around your needle too tightly. So you can actually kind of just roll your fingers back and forth and that loosens those, those twists or wraps. And then that should allow you to pull through. This is being a little more stubborn so you can actually take your um, fingernails, if you like, and to try to slowly work the eye of the needle, those coils over the eye of the needle. So I'm getting a little resistance there. But everybody looks like they're still together good, so I'm going to pinch that back again. And I'm pulling away from me, putting tension on my thread. Everything looks great, so now I'm going to pull it towards me again. Okay, and because I want to do two bullions side by side, I'm going to straighten this out. Let's play with him a little bit. If, if, if anything ever gets unwieldy or you don't like the way your wraps look, you, take, you can take either the point end of your needle, but you got to be careful you don't catch your thread or the blunt end of your needle. Work that underneath and loosen things up a little bit, and then you can tighten them. And just keep working with them or roll it between your fingers. Now, I still haven't finished yet because I have to go back down at my point B. But I'm going to go ahead and pull. This is going to be the left-handed side of my bud that I'm making. I'm going to actually pull slightly to the right with my, with my thread before I place it down into point B. And that gives me just a little bit of a curve. I don't know if you can see that, it's very subtle. Okay, I'm gonna come back up at my original point A, and I'm gonna make another bullion. I'm gonna go back down into my point B, my original point B, come back up at point A, and again, I'm going to wrap thread around the tip of my needle. Pinch. Yep, again, I got a little too tight, so let's, let's roll that between my fingers. There we go. Pulling. Pulling it towards me. Okay, I'm going to use the blunt end of my needle here. So that things are trying to twist on me a little bit. And now, this time, before I go back down in point B, I'm going to pull towards the left slightly before I anchor down into that point B. And there we have two bullion side by side that give you the look of um, the beginnings of a little bullion bud. Now, let me show you how to tie off. Being a fine embroideress, I never, or try to never put knots on the back of my work. So to tie off this way, I only have this small area that I can work with. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to run under the few threads that I have there. Okay. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to split my threads. 
and I always don't feel like that's secure enough. So usually I go at least one more time. I'm going to go down in there and actually try to split my working thread. I feel like that's a little more secure. And then I'll take my scissors and trim that off. Okay. I want to show you one other little trick too. When you've got your stitches, your two stitches together like this, if you will take your needle, I actually use the point of my needle and I will separate those two stitches with my needle and I will actually drag the tip of my needle across my fabric. It kind of gives everybody equal footing and lets the threads relax and, and your, your stitches kind of pop up and just hug each other and it gives you a better looking flower. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed working with bullions and creating flowers like we just worked on. I hope you will give it a chance.